All right, three minutes yep. starting now. So this is a design I created. I wanted to add some typography to it. And if you've ever tried to create distorted type in Illustrator, it's, uh, it's kind of difficult at times. There's some distortion tools, which I'm going to try to use here. And first, I'm going to create an envelope shape. So I'm going to take these two shapes and use minus front. And this gives me the overall shape I want to distort this type with. So we're going to select both of these shapes. And I'm going to go up to Object, go down to Envelope, Distort. And we're going to try uh, Make with Top Object first. And when we do that, you kind of get this. And I'm like, that's close, but not that great. So I don't want that. I'm going to Command Z. You know, maybe if we use a warp feature, that'll work better. So I'm going to take this and distort it down until it's the same height as what I had before. Then I'll go back up to Object, go to Envelope Distort, Make with Warp. Yeah, that's not cutting it. No, that's perfect. Let's put that on a T-shirt. Let's try another one. We'll go uh, Arch with Lower. No, well, maybe if I go Negative, so I'll go over here. And, well, that's close, but once again, not quite there, so that's not going to work either, either. And so I was getting frustrated with this, and I finally figured out a workaround. So with this type selected, we're going to clone it, uh, Command-C, Command-F, or if you have keyboard shortcuts, um, F3. And I'm just going to slide this up, snap it to the... Sorry, I have my uh, regular glasses on, so I can't see what I'm doing right now. OK. You're really close. I've just made a copy of the type, slid it up to the top. I'm going to select both now. I'm going to go back to the same menu, envelope distort, but we're going to go with warp. That's not working. We're going to go to bulge. And then on bulge, Thank you. we're going to go into negative 49 and click OK. And now we have the type distorted without flaring out. It's distorting correctly, but we don't need all this. So we're going to go to Object. We're going to go to Expand. Click OK. I'll double click into this, select the type I don't want. And now we have the type distorted the way I wanted it to on this particular design. 30 seconds. This is the way it came out. All right.